So what exactly does it take to succeed with self-publishing or Kindle publishing in 2020? That's what we'll be looking at in this video. I'll actually share with you exact, the exact five points that are critical to your success. Hey guys, my name is Thomas from bookbeam.io. I've been a self-publisher for a pretty long while already. I've been around the block, been, I think I recently crossed the five year mark and have created an income over this time of several six figures. And it's really been interesting to see the platform grow to where it was when I started, pretty much the wild, wild west where people, you know, were making easy money with low quality products and books to where it is now, where the competition has risen and the, the bar for success is higher. The uh, investment that you gotta make to succeed is higher. So, all right, let's dive into the five points. Point number one, and I've been thinking about this and seeing this quite a lot, and I think it's becoming increasingly more important throughout 2020 and also going forward. So, and that is go deep. And so what exactly does that mean? So let me illustrate. So if in the early days you could really just go on Amazon, some, find some niches that are selling well, some pretty general topics like paleo diet, ketogenic diet these days, or, or something similar to that, you could just find it, create a pretty generic book, throw it out there. And, you know, even if it was, you know, not that great quality, if it was, you know, decently keyword optimized, uh, maybe having a half decent cover, then, you know, you would make pretty great money because just because the co there was very little competition, not that many people knew about it. And it was so new and so kind of wild, you could, it was, a lot easier to create uh, income just you know with very little effort but but these days since there's the crowd of self publishers has increased fairly substantially it is important that you really dig deep and don't go on the surface level just just like just have a surface level look of you know what you can create it means going much deeper, going into the crevices, into the nooks and crannies of the market, which is Amazon, and really investigating and trying to understand the people, like what are people wanting? Here's a great example. So a few years ago, two or three years ago, this huge trend uh, arose. It was adult coloring books. And if we look at that, if we see that, wow, there's these self-published books on the top 100 list, that are you know selling so well in the in the U.S. Uh, in the U.K. Uh, and all of a sudden you know there's this huge demand for art therapy for coloring therapy uh, for adults, which wasn't really that much there before. What exactly does that tell us? That tells us that there's you know a lot of adults, a lot of grown-ups are just feeling really effing stressed out, and hence the demand for color therapy. And you know, that's a really great clue uh, where the kind of, where the de demand is, what are people wanting? And that might, that is going to definitely bleed into different kind of niches other than coloring books, for, for example, adult coloring books, that is going to really bleed into other areas as well. So we really recommend that you spend a lot of time really analyzing the market, looking at these things and like going deep, putting the roots down deeply and the exact same things I'm really seeing for dropshipping, for Amazon FBA, for all of these other businesses which are becoming more uh, crowded, you cannot just like go surface level. If you're doing dropshipping, you have to really master Facebook advertising and product research and, and that will lend for, that will allow for your success. You cannot just, the, the time you've, you've kind of missed the boat when you can just do the easy thing when no one, nobody yet knows about it. You've sort of missed the time, missed the boat when you can just like throw up some products and maybe do a little bit of advertising and things are just gonna, you know, go very well for you. A lot of other people have already done that, have already established and, and milked those positions and they're no longer available. Another sub point uh, very related to this one is be where the growth is. That means be in audio. For example, just as an option, audio is growing every year all around the world, podcasts and audiobooks, just because people are so inundated with loads of content of various types. Um, audio is just a way that people can multitask, you can drive, you can commute, you can do many things whilst you listen to 
audiobooks and it's growing around around the world so audiobooks is still a pretty uh, great place to find success in and I'm not just talking about audiobooks in the US I'm also talking about audiobooks in foreign markets like UK of course an obvious choice but I'm also talking about audiobooks perhaps in Spanish in German those are interesting areas to look at those are really growing and pretty rapidly uh, developing markets for this type of content as well. Amazon is also fairly rapidly growing in other stores so again like those those are places where most people aren't really looking at yet and so that's a pretty cool tip uh, that I can give you. Look at those markets and there are quite a few good opportunities there. Point number two is create high quality books that either set you apart from the competition ideally or if there already are some high quality books in your niche that will just keep you at that top tier of your niche with, with your high quality books. Because you know, these days you cannot pass with crappy content. It's really the core pillar, one of the core, core pillars of having, of being successful in Kindle publishing or self-publishing is having that high quality book. Because why? Because that high quality book will of course please your customers it will give you five stars reviews continuously throughout time and those five star reviews will keep your sales coming in and it will actually help even more sales to come in and it will be great for your brand and so on and so forth and conversely bad content a bad book just means you know bad reviews one stars one star two stars and that leads to eventually your book just dying out the rankings putting the amazon algorithm putting your book somewhere in, where nobody sees it and you know that's like money effort and time wasted think about how you can create great value no no typos uh, great content that pleases your customers check out you know the reviews of other books good and bad check out forums kind of get the feeling of, of what they want and deliver it to them point number three optimize everywhere you can leave no stone unturned so first and foremost, that is keywords in your title. Just have an optimized, keyword optimized title. The keywords in your title have the most weight. Very important, this one. Second one, also very important, have a great appealing cover. This will increase your click-through rate and your conversion rate and will just make your item, your book a nicer product that's easier to sell and easier to gift and so on and so forth. And number three, uh, these, these next ones are, are not really in the order of importance. They're all equally important. The description, have a great description, communicates the benefits that are waiting for your, waiting your customer inside of your book. Uh, then optimize your categories. And lastly, optimize your author bio. Point number four, again, quite simple, but very, very critical, publish in all formats quite similar to the last one, is just leave no stone unturned. If you have that content already available and made, turn it into audio. Still a pretty hot uh, uh, format and growing in consumption every year all around the world. And on the Kindle side, the subscriptions are still growing for Kindle Unlimited, for a program like Kindle Unlimited. And for most of you, it does make sense to enroll in KDP Select. And so th that is another great way to keep growing that uh, income stream. Point number five, an important one is use Amazon ads and do it effectively. Amazon ads are be increasingly becoming a staple in the self-publishers toolkit. Amazon is making them, it, as it seems, as I've analyzed the system and the platform, it's making them increasingly important. It's really, you know, prioritizing those sponsored fields uh, over, you know, organic rank rankings oftentimes. So, and, and it just makes sense. It's such a cash, crazy cash cow for them that it, it makes sense that they do this. And it also makes sense that you kind of ride along this trend. I made a pretty long drawn video uh, a part of a three part course and part number three is all about ads so would encourage you to check that one out. So yeah guys those were the five things, the five points which are in my view increasingly important going forward which are going to be uh, things you got to do to kind of ride the trends that are going on in the platform currently. So once again to recap number one is go deep, 
go find the nooks and crannies where there's great value to be added. Point two, create high quality books. Cannot stress this enough. This is like the core. This is very important for your success. Number three is optimize wherever you can. Title, cover, description, categories, author bio. Point number four, publish in all formats, print, digital, audio, simple but critical. And point number five is use Amazon ads and use them well. That's all for this one, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found this valuable, feel free to click the little like button below, subscribe if you haven't already. And I also invite you to grab a free copy of best-selling book marketing checklist. You have to just drop us your email and we will send it to your inbox shortly. That's it guys. I'm Thomas signing out. See you next time.